This is the 2015 Math Kangaroo Levels 9 10, problem number 29. Ten different numbers are written down. Any number that is equal to the product of the other nine numbers is then underlined. How many numbers can be underlined at most? This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test, and here is where we'll be doing the solution. To start, I have written down the ten numbers as being x1, x2, x3, and so on, until x10. Then I have written this number x sub n, which is going to be one of the numbers that is underlined. And as it says in the problem, um, any number that is equal to the product of the other nine numbers is then underlined. So x sub n a number that is underlined, must be one of the 10 numbers. So n must be any number between 1 and 10. And so we know that the product of the 10 numbers will be x1 times x2 times x3 and so on till x10. And we can write this product as being equal to p. So now let's go back to our number xn. Again, xn is a number that is going to be underlined. And, again, as it says in the problem, the number that is underlined is equal to the product of the other nine numbers. So how do we write the product of the other nine numbers? We write them as being x1 times x2 times x3 and so on till x10, but we must divide by xn because x sub n cannot be part of that product, right? Because x sub n is equal to the product of the nine other numbers, not including itself. And here we can rewrite the product of this, as we already found, as being p, right? So that is equal to p over x sub n. So what does this tell us? If this is equal to x sub n from over here, we can cross multiply and get that x sub n squared is equal to p, right? So x sub n, if we simplify, must be equal to plus or minus the square root of p. So plus or minus means what? There are two possible values for x sub n, which means that answer choice b must be correct. There's two numbers that can be underlined at most. Thank you so much for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe.